Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Recently I was out in Washington at the Tally Ho Project and put on by Samson Boat, a really cool YouTube channel. You've got to take a look at him if you haven't. I'll leave a link to that down below. But I got to use his mallet and it was a lot of fun to work with except for it wasn't really a great mallet. <laughs> and so I brought home some of the live oak that he's actually making the ship out of and we're going to use that to make a set of mallets for him. A regular English joiner's mallet, very similar to what I have, as well as the massive thump and whacker and I'm gonna have a lot of fun making these I'm just really happy with how they came out but enough of that let's dive in and take a look at it so for a mallet head I'm gonna be doing something very similar to this one this is one that I made a long time ago when I first got into hand tools it was made out of a piece of firewood and I love it we're gonna be using this uh, live oak that came from Leo's shop and we're gonna be basically tracing exactly what I have onto these and then cutting them down into shape. I'm gonna make one that is the same size as the one that I use, and I'm gonna make one that is a bit bigger, so he can have the choice between Thor's mallet and Thor's Jr.'s mallet. So, let's have some fun. So now that I have a reference surface on here, this is my surface that is true, that is going to become the bottom of the mallet. I now want to actually cut off the two faces at a particular angle. Now traditionally that angle is like 9 degrees, maybe 10 degrees, maybe 8 degrees, somewhere in that range. And so basically what I've done is taken this off of this, I don't care what the angle is. If you set it to somewhere around 9 degrees, you're going to be about right. Then we can put that on that reference surface and we can mark off our two hammer faces. Now we have the heads shaped and ready for work. Next thing I wanna do is work on the handle. But while the handle is in, I'm actually gonna start the stabilization process of these because these have a little bit of punkiness into them and they have a few bug holes and voids and I wanna make these a good bit harder. So we're gonna take these to the stabilization and while those are in there, we're gonna start working on the handles which are basically just a long wedge. So, let's do it.
So for the heads, we stabilize those with cactus juice. And the reason I do that is because that will work even farther into the pores than anything else, especially when in a vacuum chamber. Um, when you can submerge it, they can actually absorb quite a bit of juice. But for these handles, the wood is fairly good. I just want to stabilize them a little bit more to keep them a little bit stronger. And for that, I'm going to be using a penetrating epoxy. Uh, this is from Total Boat, and it is one that I really like. Uh, it's a little bit thinner of epoxy, and so it'll work into the wood. Not quite as far as the cactus juice, but it's great for any surface work you want to do where you want to actually harden up the surface. Uh, but in this case, I'm actually going to wrap it up, put it in the vacuum chamber, and the vacuum will draw the penetrating epoxy even farther into the wood. So not only will it harden the outside, but it'll also harden a little ways into the wood, making this even that much stronger. So uh, if this is something you're looking forward to, I'll leave a link to um, all of the products I'm using down in the description below. Okay, Google, set timer for one minute. We have a handle and we have a head. Now we want to actually put these together. So what I want to do is actually find the center line on the handle and then find the center line on the head and line those two up so that I know that I'm not putting this off center one way or the other. And then I can draw on the exact width of this wedge because the handle is a big wedge and I want it to be wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Once I have those two lines on here, I can transfer those around onto the bottom and top and those will give me exactly where to put the mortise so that this will slide into the head. Once we have that in there, we can drill our holes, chop it out, and we'll be able to slide this in. So let's actually jump into laying out the lines and then chopping out the mortise. So now it comes time to bore the hole all the way through this, and I'm going to be eyeballing the lines I have drawn on the side to make sure the brace is vertical where it needs to be actually at the slight angle of the wedge. The problem is with this stabilized head, uh, it's almost like a plastic, and even uh, my really, really nice bits are having a hard time with it. They, they will strip out and spin even though they're really nice and sharp. Especially if I get a large enough bit that's the same width as my handle, uh, they just spin out in this and it would take me a long time to drill them out. So for sake of the video... <laughs>
The handle now fits into the mortise and we are very happy. It drives down in and fits very nicely. Now, the next thing we wanna do is actually start smoothing this out and making the handle something a little bit more comfortable to hold because no one really wants to hold a big square block. And putting a few chamfers on it really changes everything. It gives it that grip that feels good in the hand and still makes it very comfortable to hold. So let's put some chamfers on the handle and then start cleaning up the head, putting chamfers on it, and we'll be ready for finish. We now have two mallets here, and I am in love with them. We have the simple one and then the big daddy, uh, so I hope Leo likes them, but we need to finish them. Now for a finish, uh, because it's a shop tool, it's something in my hand, boiled linseed oil and paste wax really is my absolute favorite. It goes on really nicely, smooths out, feels good. Um, it's not very protective, but it's a mallet. This thing is gonna get beat up, it's gonna get dinged, and if you wanna finish it again in the future, just add a little more paste wax, boiled linseed oil, and you're good to go. Whereas if you put something that's a protective finish on it, it's gonna look really bad as it gets chipped off, and you'll have to sand it off before you put anything else on. So, boiled linseed oil is what I'm gonna do. And then, of course, we're gonna stamp it. So let's have a bit of fun. So there you have it. We have the normal English style joiner's mallet as well as the bigger brother of it that should be great for a shipwright. Anytime you want to move something with your own hand, uh, this is happy. So making the trunnels, the tree nails, uh, this will make it far easier for him. So Leo, I hope you like it. And if you haven't seen his channel, definitely go take a look at it. I'll leave a link to him down below. But this was a lot of fun. And I really love the live oak that came out in this. The more I use live oak, the more I want to do more things with it. So you'll probably see some of that coming up in the future. But that's about it for today. I hope you liked this. If you did, please hit like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I do read all the comments and I respond to most of them. Also, I want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are helping make this channel bigger and better than it is. Thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, Patreon down below. Till next time, have a wonderful day. You move me and you move me even more.